guys and welcome to my channel honey and me i'm susan if you're watching this video you may have watched my last video which left me looking desperately for a bathroom <laughs> or a bush <laughs> i finally found one at a community campground in spences bridge and thought about staying there it was a campground right along the fraser river but because it was starting to rain i decided oh, let's just keep on going so now i am traveling up the highway number one through the Fraser Canyon right along the side of the Fraser River. It's still overcast. I see a little tiny bit of blue sky up there, but it's kind of a dreary day. It's a good day for traveling. So I do need to stop at some point and grab something to eat. Let Gracie and Freddie out for a bit of a leg stretch as well. Right now I'm just pulled over on the side of the highway at a pullout. There's, it's not even a rest area. It's just a pullout. But I just wanted to let you know where we're at. We're heading north on Highway 1 towards Cache Creek, which will be the next community. It's again, it's not a very big community, but it does have a Dairy Queen and a few other uh, restaurants and hotels. It's kind of a junction between Kamloops and Highway 1. We'll stop there probably and make ourselves something to eat because there's a few places we can pull over and do that. So we're just going to carry on here along Highway 1, see what we find. <laughs> all about this rest area on the side of Highway 1 before you get to Ashcroft and then Cache Creek. It's not raining right now so we're gonna stop and stretch our legs, have something to eat. It's pretty quiet here. We're only, I think there's only two other vehicles here at the moment. There's bathrooms, there's electric charging for electric cars and garbage and everything so and picnic tables. Everybody I'm sure will enjoy getting out of the car for a little while. I got off the highway to check out the Hat Creek Ranch. I haven't been here for many, many years since Allie and Zach were quite small. Those are my two youngest. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to come back here and check it out. I don't really remember too much about it. I think we may have gone on a wagon ride while we were here. I don't really remember. <laughs> It's right off of the highway, really easy to find. As you're coming out of Cache Creek, you go, oh, I don't even know how many miles I've gone or how many kilometers, but it's not very far outside of Cache Creek to the north. So I'll take you along with me and show you a little bit of what Hat Creek Ranch looks like. paid my admission. It was cheaper because I'm 55 and older, which was really nice. So now we're just going to walk around and take a little tour. You can hear that. That is the blacksmith shop. So that's where we came in. There's the blacksmith shop right in the middle there. We'll go take a look at that first. That's kind of cool. You can rent this covered wagon as a place to stay. That'd be fun. Had a nice little visit with the blacksmith. Told me all of his woes. <laughs> but yeah, really nice man. Oh, and look, the blacksmith made me a nail while I was standing there talking to him. Isn't that cool? So you can see by the sign that this is the Hat Creek. Beautiful old log barn. Some more back there. The map says this is the BX barn. Oh, I 
it smells good. It smells like hay and horses and harnesses the leather. Look at these from the big work horses. They even have their names on them. There's Dee's, Becky's, Tim's, and either Dawson is wearing his or he doesn't work. One thing I should mention is we are on the Gold Rush Trail, which follows the highway, or the highway follows the Gold Rush Trail, because it was there first. The BC Express Stagecoach Line, or the BX as it was called, ran along the Caribou Road right through Hat Creek Ranch for decades. Horses that pulled these stagecoaches were bred as sprinters, usually running at top speed for only 15 to 20 miles, depending upon the terrain. were kept that brought in the freight, I guess. Doesn't look like they live here anymore, though. It says that's where Max stayed, and over there was Molly, Jock, Jan. Look at the size of these. They were big animals. So this was the ice house. You can see the ceiling or the roof was logs and dirt and sod probably. Keep the ice cold during the summertime. And this was the pig barn. And I think it still is. This is inside the piggy's house. And we don't mean the three pigs. <laughs> oh, everybody's coming. I, I don't have any food for you. And you're very proud of that thing you've dug up. And everybody wants it. Oh, you've only got one eye. One eye to me. Hi. Hello there. Hello, one eye pig. Dirty nose. Well, you too. You have a dirty nose too. Look at that. Oh, hi. Hi.
They don't want me to leave. They love me. Yeah. Going into the McLean cabin. Which is really cute. Tables all set for one, two, three, four, five people. Do you think five people lived in this little cabin? I only see two beds, so I don't know. <laughs> so here's the story of the wild McLeans. Looks like Donald and Sophia had four boys, Alan, Charlie, Archie, and Alex. I could quite happily live in this little log cabin. It's pretty sweet. The walls or the logs that make the walls are hand-hewn logs, which means that an ax and a person's arms flattened out the two sides. the stove we have up at the cabin, you know, a barrel stove like that. Different front, but basically the same. Hello. Hi. <laughs> how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. Good. I love making this work because it's awesome. So here is going to crank in the spring. There we go. It's got a 20 foot spring in it. Oh my goodness. Yep. So how long does that play for then? Um, these are used to play. So these are the uh, blue amber rolls. Okay. And they can hold from two to four, maybe five. Ooh. <laughs> Losing all your springs. Sure so uh... Okay, there we go. And here we're going to. Uh -huh, let's do this one. So this is a blue amber roll. Okay. Just... Yep. And this is is made from a combination of glass and wax. Oh my goodness. And yeah, it actually has the worst properties of both. <laughs> It makes it oh. 110 years old. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it still works still awesome. Still fires up. Yeah, so here we're going to click this off so it actually spins our, our disc. Okay. Or not our disc, but our amber roll. Cylinder. Yeah, and now we're going to put that in there. So clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just Yeah. <laughs> This is my favorite one because it's a lot of people who can recognize it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. And it's just kind of boring. It's so neat.
age 55 and over was just a bonus. I hope you enjoyed visiting it with me. Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.